hello hello today I thought I'd recommend some books that I think are quite suitable for the Halloween time of year so before I get started I just want to say that I haven't read many like horror thriller type novels I do have some which are quite eerie and alongside those I also have some other books that have paranormal elements some creatures evil creatures, deadly, dangerous creatures. So yes, let's get on with the recommendations. The first book I have to recommend to you today is Damned by Chuck Palahniuk. This is narrated by an 11 year old girl from hell. She dies, she goes to hell. This one is quite a funny one. If you have a darker sense of humor, we have a lot of gritty, gross, creepy kind of things going on in this book. We come across some really interesting characters that you will be aware of from history and some other beings of sorts. This one is quite a short book so you can definitely whiz through this one and I definitely recommend it. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was entertaining and certainly great for Halloween, most certainly. The next one I have to show you is 172 Hours on the Moon by Johan Hostad. So in this book, NASA sets up a lottery and the winners get to go into space. Hells yeah. That is like, that is an incredible opportunity. So the winners are Mia, Midori, and Antoine. And before they even get out into space, some weird things start happening, but then they do land on the moon. Things hit the fan really quickly. I had my theories about what was happening, did not guess that it could have been that. Just, you need to experience this book. Just experience. This one plays with your mind. It really screws around in there. This book is quite shocking. It's really, really creepy. I could not stop thinking about this book once I had finished. The ending in itself. Holy crap. You need to read this book. It is so eerie. The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. Now, Mara Dyer wakes up with no recollection of the event which killed all of her friends and she was the lone survivor of. I decided to include this one not only because of the amount of mystery in this novel, the constant questioning of what the hell happened and later things that are happening, but also the fact that there are some really creepy scenes, in my opinion. Mara Dyer sees certain things and you're not quite sure if what she's seeing is real or not. I definitely recommend this one. And also, I suggest picking up the sequel as well. The third book should be coming out soon. Now, talking about books that are quite eerie, I decided to include one final book, These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Now, this one might seem a little out of place because it's a science fiction survival story, but I think that at some points, this one definitely has the creep factor. Plenty of mystery in this one as well. And I don't want to say anything else because you should go into this one not knowing much at all. So just pick it up. It's fantastic. Pick it up. Now for books that have paranormal creatures, I'm going to start off with a couple of classics. The first of which is Dracula by Bram Stoker. Vampires, man. Vampires. And they're actually evil. I'm going to be frank with you here. I got most of the way through this book. I didn't quite finish it. I have no idea why because I was enjoying it. So I think at some point I'm going to reread this one. I would love to read it again this month, but I've got way too many things I need to read first. So I don't think it's going to happen, but at some point I will some point it will happen. And because I read this one for school, I think it'll be interesting to go back and look at all the notes that I made as well. The next classic I have is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. We all know Frankenstein, the doctor who brought the monster back to life. And the monster actually starts out good. It's so sad because just the way that he's brought up and how people react to him kind of turns into this horrid murderous being. So, killings. Killings and things. Halloween. The next one I have to show you is Blood Song by Rhiannon Hart. This is set in a kind of fantastical setting and Zerafina, she is a princess, but there's something a little strange about her because she craves blood, but it is not vampires. There are no vampires in this book. It is something very, very different. And I loved this book so much. I definitely urge you to pick this one up. Fantastic. Next we have Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce. This is a fairy tale retelling of Little Red Riding Hood. Our main characters are Scarlet and Rosie and the two sisters hunt the werewolves. I loved this fairy tale retelling so much. It was really fun, a great read and just like that cover man, that cover. How freaking awesome is it? Look. So cool! Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. This is a zombie book, but it's not like a creepy, scary zombie book. This one, a little more lighthearted, and it was very, very interesting. I love the fact that this was written from the perspective of a zombie who has a little bit of humanity left in him. He meets this girl, and he starts falling for her. 
I loved this book. I loved it. And I loved the movie as well. So definitely recommend this one. Next we have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. And so this one is about an island where the peculiar children live. And they have some very strange qualities, characteristics, abilities. And this book is also filled with a lot of vintage photographs. Some of them are kind of weird, some of them a little bit eerie. This one definitely has some sinister elements and a great read. I really, really enjoyed it. Next we have Velveteen by Daniel Marks. This is about Velveteen and she is a ghost. She's living in purgatory and the way in which she died was quite gruesome. We do get some details about it and it was not fun. She was kidnapped and murdered by a madman named Bonesaw and whilst trying to navigate purgatory and this new kind of life, she's living, she really wants to take revenge and punish her killer. Ghosties murder. Great value. I have another ghost book here and that is Anna Dressed in Blood by Ken Dare Blake. Cass, our main character, is a ghost hunter. He goes around killing the ghosts and then he goes to a new town and he comes across this house haunted by Anna. Anyone who enters the house, Anna kills. But Cass enters the house and she spares his life. I really really loved Anna Dressed in Blood and there also came a point later on in the book that was really scary for me at least. I was reading at night time and since I don't read much horror I don't really like scary things. Not for me. One particular scene really did get under my skin so I definitely recommend this book. I also recommend picking up the sequel Girl of Nightmares. Just marathon these two. Marathon them. The last book that I have is A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. This book is a mix of text and illustrations. This is about a boy named Connor and he's been having some nightmares about a monster. And then one night, that monster shows up outside his window. This book, guys, incredible. Absolutely incredible. The story, the illustrations, the whole combination of just everything is beautiful. Definitely, definitely recommend picking this one up. And because this one has plenty of illustrations as well, it's actually pretty quick to get through. You should be able to finish this one in one sitting. Just pick it up now. Pick it up. So those are some of the books that I really enjoyed reading and I think are quite suitable for this time of year with Halloween coming up. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but before you go, I'd love to hear from you. What book or books do you recommend reading during Halloween. What do you think is the perfect book for this time of the year? So I look forward to seeing your recommendations in the comments and I will also see you tomorrow with a new video. Bye!